I am going to sit down and I'm going to uh, take some notes, but uh, if you can also uh, write, help with uh, taking notes in Gobby, um, uh, will be good. Uh, so, I, what did I write? Updating selected drivers. <coughs> Is anyone uh, interested in working on that? Because uh, in the past, uh, when we've done uh, driver updates in the kernel, uh, th that's mostly been uh, me uh, taking time to attempt to backport kernel, uh, backport the drivers, uh, and then trying to get other people to test them, and uh, not always getting a lot of feedback. Um, Uh, sometimes uh, I've had, uh, sometimes we've had uh, contributions from uh, either the uh, hardware vendor or uh, another interested party who's done the backport, tested it on the hardware that was available to them. Um, but it doesn't happen very often. Uh, I is there anyone who would be interested in working to uh, to do uh, driver backports? Or uh, indeed uh, contracting uh, developers to work on to work on that? No. <laughs> so this doesn't look like it's a very viable option, at least for, for now. Uh, can I give you a mic, or possibly that one works? When, um, so you know there were backported drivers available on 01.org for a while, which we at Calabra were doing for Intel. And um, what came out of that was that, yeah, as you said in your in your uh, boff notes, it is prone to regressions and quite often it's quite painful, especially in fast-moving areas like graphics to do a backport because the kernel infrastructure threshes and churns so fast that you end up you basically end up writing a new driver. Um, so in a slow-moving area, you could maybe do that. I mean, I would say like especially if if a hardware vendor comes to you and says like we actually have the hardware we'd like it. And you get some support from them; it's it's viable. But other than that, I mean, even you know, even with Intel's backing, some of these uh, occasionally older GPUs would simply stop working on a mm -hmm. backported driver um, because nobody, you know, nobody except a random end user somewhere on the other side of the world had the hardware, and we wouldn't find out until it hit them. And that was with someone the size of Intel backing the the work yeah. and doing testing. So um, I kind of agree with what you said in the notes. It's not a hugely viable approach. So we have new kernel versions uh, going into the backports, uh, the stable backports uh, suite, usually very soon after they, uh, the corresponding version goes into testing. Um, 
Um, what we don't currently have is a way to use that in the installer officially, although uh, I did, was told uh, just before I came here that um, the, it, that's probably going to be possible in the very near future. How are how's that working out? Are people using uh, kernel from backports? Are there um, are there compatibility issues with using it with the stable user land? Um, how what are people doing to get uh, to uh, install systems with that kernel version at the moment? been using backports kernels on a few different systems. It's not a huge sample size, but I've had no real problems. Haven't used them with the installer. I've just installed, you know, upgraded from backports, but haven't encountered any problems with it so far. So it seems like it's at least a good so, starting point. So in that case, the so why did you want to upgrade to the version in backports? Uh, I can't remember the exact details. I needed some new feature that was only available in a newer kernel, and I had to try it. So, um, for that reason, um, and um, but I didn't encounter any problems with it. It seemed to work fairly smoothly. So, um, just to give you a small data point. Uh, okay. Uh, how about let's have, a, let's have a show of hands who who's using uh, uh, kernels from backports on on some systems? Okay, would some of you like to uh, speak about how that's uh, working? I mean, if you've run into uh, uh, if you've run into any compatibility issues, if that's working out fine. Uh, if you had difficulty installing, or it's it's all everything's good. The last option I wrote about there was adding an alternate kernel version to the stable suite. Um, which is something that has been tried before um, in a, the Edge and a Half release. Uh, and I've just done that again for Jesse, but only because the because Jesse backports is is uh, not going to accept new uploads. Um, do any, does anyone have uh, an opinion on on whether this is sensible, uh, supportable, um, something we should do for? Uh, something we should do for stretch or? Or for Buster. Or is is uh is it fine to have this or, uh to, to uh do this through backports? Um so let me answer that with another question. How much 
capacity do you have and how many more people do you require to make it viable? Because like, obviously a lot of people are using backports, so there's a requirement there, um, or at least a desire for newer kernels. Um, how much extra effort is it to make it a sort of first class will actually update the kernel in, in, in stable release? So long as the version is essentially the same, then it, so long as the version is, uh, the backported version is essentially the same as the version in the next, uh, the next suite, next, next release, then there's very little um, ongoing maintenance uh, effort needed. There's, of course, there's some to backport and remove uh, 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 dependencies or conflicts that, that might exist uh, in, the oldest, or in the older release, but uh, that's, you do it once and then merge changes uh, after that. Um, and that's, that's, in my experience, that's gone pretty smoothly. Okay, well, um, you know, um, in that case, that would seem like a sensible approach to me. Um, just my opinion. Uh, probably time for a show of hands vote if no one else has anything to say except someone does. Given that official backports are not so official, for example, bug reports, we cannot do it in the backports. I would love to see the kernel in the stable, newer kernels in the stable. Uh, well, in practice, people do file bugs on the versions in backports, and um, I, I certainly treat them like any other bug report. Um, in part because the the uh, kernel isn't uh, isn't really dependent on any of the uh, um, libraries, um, any of the user space libraries that might be older in in stable. Uh, so, the chances of a bug being specific to the backports uh, environment uh, or introducing the backporting are generally very low. So, um, I think on the I think uh, bug reporting. I don't know. Maybe it's possible that people are, are are discouraged from filing bugs in the in backports kernel because of this yeah. uh, general policy. As long as we have newer kernels for the stable, it doesn't matter if I get it from backports or it's there. As long as it works, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. But it would be good to see it officially in the stable. So that's. Also, the, the backports kernel have a different kind of security support. Um, once you get to the backports kernel, you're forced to more often upgrade. So yes, uh, into stable, yes. Yeah, so that might be interesting if we have something like go with a newer kernel, which provides Thunderbolt support, for example. I think it's available only with a more modern version than what's in Stretch. Um, so it might be interesting to have something available which is backported from the upcoming release. Um, not sure if this is feasible for security support in LTS then. This might be something to consider. But if that's an option, would be great, I think. I'm not, not entirely sure I understood that about the security support. I mean, once we have it in, in a stable release, it will be covered by LTS, I assume. Um, yes. Yes, that would be great because the alternative is to just always update what's available in stretch backports currently, the kernel version. You know, the situation where, which I had with the Lenovo driver um, for hardware support, uh, only option would be to just jump on a newer kernel version from, from stretch backports and then we are forced to always update the kernel uh, version. Uh, yes, you would. You would have to keep updating yeah. until you get to um, until Buster's out. 
uh, at which point you're then getting back ports from Buster, which would right. be more or less that would be the same upstream base version. Of course, uh, but um, and I don't think we would. I I, I think that. Um, adding support for an intermediate version between stable uh, between the default stable kernel and um, testing and maintaining that long term that I don't think that's viable yeah. that's what I was afraid of yeah, yeah. Sure. sorry of course Thank you. so um, I I just want to ask about uh, the three options that we have here. Um, it seems to me that they do not conflict. I mean, we can do all of them as long as we have the resources right. And we are yes. actually setting the priority which one is to be done first and which one is the next. So um, my opinion is maybe we can have even more recent kernel versions in backpost which we do not provide um, uh, the same level of security support so that people can still enjoy using newer kernel versions but uh, for the stable release we because we we have to provide security so we and and because we do not have um, I guess we do not have in so many resources to to um, to provide uh, enough sec security updates so we we stick to the same version as the um, as the next uh, release. Just one or two sentences. Okay. Right. Um, does anyone have anything to add? Uh, any um, any opinions on on any of the options? Um, um, or um, would like to work on um, uh, either driver updates or. Um, Alternate kernel versions is instable. The backports. I mean that that's that's what we have at the moment. Uh, so um, probably no extra effort needed there. 
the, uh, the, the kernel versions in the backboard suite. I could be interested in uh, helping with updating drivers, but I'd like to talk to you about that after. Okay, thank you. Well, I'll uh, stop here then. Uh, okay.